Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Today we're going to talk about what are some beginner bass songs that you should know. And if you if you haven't subscribed yet, I've got a I've got 10, 10 songs coming up and they'll be in, I'll break it up into five different videos, so about two songs per video. So if you haven't yet, subscribe down below and you'll get to see it notified when those all come up. Hit the bell notification. All of those you'll be notified when I come out with the next with the next four lessons. But today we're going to go over two real popular ones. And they're great. They're great. So coming up. But if you don't know me by now, I'm Donald Witt, the online bass instructor for I Want to Play Bass.com, where I help aspiring bass players every day reach their bass playing goals. And that's where we get. So check that out. Subscribe for free. Become a member when you want to get serious about it. And then just check it out for sure. So today we're going to talk about two popular songs that. Um, are just real popular. As soon as you hear the bass line, you'll know the song most likely from these songs that have lasted the test of time. They've gone through the test of time and they'll probably be here for a lot longer too. They're not going anywhere anytime soon. So the first one is Money by Pink Floyd. And as soon as you hear this bass line, just you'll hear the meat and potatoes of it. You'll know and everybody else will know, hey, that's a pretty cool bass line. And it moves around so it's not just your something you'll be Beginning at bass, pedaling on out on root notes. But now we're going to step it up. You're going to play a melodic line, and it's really going to make people, you're going to get recognized for sure. You And once you start learning these types of songs with these melodic lines, you're going to improve tenfold in your bass playing skills. So this is money, and it's going to, we're going to start on B. And if you haven't heard before, let me play just the, the, just the meat and potatoes of it right now. line right there that is the meat and potatoes of that whole song and that's the one that people recognize whenever they hear it. tv commercials i've seen it everywhere I, you just hear it everywhere so with that little i'll give you that little lick right now so we're going to start on b first finger second fret and we're going to the fourth fret third finger and this is your octave sharp A B D that's it so they do that for the intro and they go into the the first verse that's the verse bass line behind the verse and then they go into a chorus and it's and that's right back to the back in the room. they only do that one it's kind of like it's not really a chorus it's more of like a little bridge but it's um it breaks it up <clears throat> breaks that first up and it goes right back into the verse but that Little bridge slash chorus is start on F sharp. F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A, C sharp, and then a little chromatic walk down from F sharp to E. from the I'll play one part of the intro one part of the verse into the little bridge so work on that and then they go into 
they go into another um, they break it down into there's I don't know I guess you could call this this is like a another long bridge it's just a change in there it goes you slide into the B and then the D walk down chromatically Up here, and they just do up to the D sharp, to the, and then they walk up to the E. And they just change the rhythm a little bit. Instead of being staccato right here, they, they hold the notes out. Just the half step up to that E, the half step up to E, and then back down, D sharp, D, C sharp, and then this is just a uh, um, A sharp slide into B, D, C sharp, C, B. So they come out of the. Um, That's just like we said. Up to the e. And then they do right after that they jump up to the B and they walk down. So it'd be basically just from the B. That's all the breaks in the song, all the changes in there. And then at the very end, they just start instead of the instead of playing that bass line at the ending, they do. They just keep repeating that. B to D. They don't do the bass line. So that's money. Next one I'm going to show you real quick is going to be Come Together by the Beatles. Another great one. And it'll just be in D, but you got this little lick on the octave. This is our octave here. You can see the little two dots there. Not on the front of the fretboard, but let me get out of the light here. So we'll be here. C, D, F, back to D. Then they change it to A. most of the song at some points in there they'll just pedal on those notes they'll pedal on the D and the A but it's you're going to
gonna play that lick for a lot, for most of the song. Stop in the bass line, just how does it this? That was a half step up. If you got any questions, just email me or comment down below. I'll get right back to you. So it's just that C, C hammer on and D to F. Hit D twice. A, same thing at A. two songs and it's a good start on your way to to impress them and like I say I've got two more coming up I don't know next day or so I'll put that out but as for now that's money by Pink Floyd and come together by the Beatles great ones two great songs that you'll want to you'll want to have those in your repertoire all right thank you all and see you soon so comment down below subscribe to thanks <laughs>